Yo guys, what is up? Asio once again. Today we want to talk about faction crits, why they are important and how to get started as early as possible. Okay, so today we have the Ogren tribe and the lizard man crypt. I happen to have fairly strong champions in both of those crypts, but the overall point that I want to make will still apply. So let's just start with why faction crypts are so important. As you can see here on the left, all these faction crypts drop glyphs. These glyphs can range from 1% to 8% for the main stat, for flat stats from 75 to 750 on HP, for attack and defense from 4 to 40, and speed 1 to 8. As with any other gear or artifacts, you start with the 1 star and go down to 6 star. Now you might think, Gee, why do I have to do this? This is tedious and I don't really see the benefit. It's just one star glyphs. I can just farm gear. Now you have to keep in mind, it's always great to have gear, but in order to fine tune your gear or to increase the good gear that you have, glyphs are the way to go. I mentioned this in a previous video that I needed to get this guy to 200 speed. The spare gear that I had left was not really optimal for reaching those speeds. It was simply not good enough. I was always missing a couple of speed. Be it 3 speed here, 5 speed there, 7 speed. Whatever I do, I couldn't make it just with the spare gear that I had. As you can see here, I have increased my speed by plus 1 on almost all my gear pieces. This was to get the exact right number that I wanted. I didn't need to be above 200 speed, I needed to be at 200. Let's go over another example. On the gear, you can see I get 4 here, 2 here, another 6 here, then 2 here, and do I have more accuracy, and 5 here. So 5, 6 is 11, 13, 17, and 19. That was correct, 19. So I got an additional of 19 accuracy just from these glyphs. They are free. I just had to run through the faction crypts a couple of times. So this is why they are so important. You get free additional stats and once you get into the speed tuning of your champions, you need them to be at exactly one specific speed. Let's say you have a counter attacker, right? You would need to find the exact piece here and there while with the glyphs, you can basically select, okay, so this gear has speed. Let's see what kind of speed can I improve. So if I need one speed, I can just drop a one speed glyph on there. If I need two speed, I can roll the two star glyphs as much as I want and do that up to six star pieces, right, to get plus eight speed. This is a tuning level that you will hardly achieve via just rolling your gear and trying to fiddle stats, especially once you have a really really good piece that you want to keep on a champion like I would say this one so here if I want more speed I can drop in more glyphs if I have them or here if I need more attack more HP I can just bump it up which you can't do via any other methods and those stats can slowly but surely build up especially for the percentage stats so let's say for a defensive champion. The weapon cannot roll defense, so you have one, two, let's assume you have crit rate or crit damage, three, a potential fourth piece if you're using speed, five, six, seven. Seven pieces where you can increase the defense percentage. And defense percentage can go up to 8%. So you're looking at 48% up to 56% if you get all the max rolls. Additional defense. That's basically another chest piece. This is why faction crypts are so important. Now let's get into how to do them as early as possible. Because it might be daunting to see, oh, now it's the ogre drive. I don't have ogres. I don't build them. I only have the three star ogres in my faction crypt. So as you can see, this is my team. I have two champions that I actually use, which is my Bellower and my Skullcrusher. However, my Skullcrusher is not fully built up. 
But these three champions, I have no intention of using. But in order to increase your success, you would like to do something like this. So you take the champion that you have and look at any gear that just isn't good enough for anything else. So this piece, for example, I probably will never use this on anybody because it's just not good enough. I could have sold it, right? How much is the selling price? 22,000. So it's not too much. One run of 12.3 will get me that money. But I could also simply check this guy's skills. Okay, he uses attack, attack, attack. And then see, oh cool, that has attack, that has speed. Toss it on. Can I make a set complete? Maybe. Does he need accuracy? Decrease defense? Sleep? And... Max HP, sure. This is probably also not good enough for anything for me, so I just toss this on. And then I filter by whatever things that I might or might not actually use. So, this piece. Probably not going to use this on anybody because it just doesn't have the right stats. I just kept it because I'm lacking a tank uh, attack percentage. So toss this on. Then gloves. Because he's an attacker, do I have any crit rate gloves that I might not use? These I might use on somebody that needs speed and accuracy. These I will not use. They're just bad for what I need. But he can use it. And then I'm just checking my last remaining gear pieces. This is too good for this guy. Mm. This piece is way better than this piece, so toss it on. And then. Let's just roll this up to 8. So as you can see, I just made a choice of gear that I really don't necessarily use. But I feel I might need it in the future. Obviously, this varies from account to account. Like, I don't have anything that is below 5 star in my storage. And... I just have some champions with some bad gear. As you can see, this is all for faction wars. I'm never using these champions for anything in particular. And once you have done this, so this guy is now a little bit stronger, I might be able to go to one stage higher. But this could change the overall outcome if I'm winning a fight, if I'm three starring a fight, or what else happens. Right, so this guy, just because he has some gear on it, didn't get attacked immediately. So I will just try to go to the next stage and see if I can beat it just because I equipped this guy with something. Because remember, in order to get something out of it, you just need to beat it. It doesn't matter if you're surviving with 1 HP or the full team. Right? Once you're talking about stars, that's a whole different matter. You should work on your teams accordingly. But for me, it's all about farming these glyphs and improving my account little by little. And you can do this with anything you have. The further you progress, the less likely you will need the gear that is on these champions. So you don't have to worry about removing it and then paying the silver for it and afterwards equipping it on another champion. So as you can see, this guy actually survived a fairly long time. So I could progress another level. As mentioned, you don't have to worry about re-equipping or removing the gear just because you probably won't ever use it anyway. So it's throwaway gear and you keep it on the champions. If you ever use them to six star another champion, if you, um, if you use them for fusion or whatever use you have for them, you can just keep the gear on them. If you actually consider to use them properly, you can just destroy the gear and not worry about it. It has served its purpose. Some of these glyphs, like especially once you get into the three star territory, they're well worth their 20, 30,000 silver cost. 
And I think a lot of you guys probably have gear that you just didn't sort out yet or you found this amazing gear piece that replaces a mediocre piece and now you have no use for the mediocre piece anymore. Instead of selling it, consider just putting it on your faction wars teams and progress further. I don't think that this champion alone made the biggest difference, but he's just another damage dealer for me. So I can just continue and continue to progress through. I bet if I had given those two three stars some decent gear that I could have even three stars some of those battles. Overall, I hope that this helps you guys understand why faction crypts are important to get into really early on and how to improve your success rate in order to go further. I'm not talking about three starring, that's a whole different matter, but just progressing and getting the best that you can without having a huge investment. Because especially for early game players or mid game players like me, I don't have the resources to put into anything else besides what my next goal is. I cannot six star all these champions just for faction crypt, but I can just try to improve them a little bit so that I have the chance of progressing further. As you can see, just with this gear, this guy does really well. Like, look at this. He has half the damage of Bellower, and Bellower is actually equipped properly. He has more damage than my Skull Crusher. I hope you saw the benefit of what I was trying to explain and will make use of it on your own account. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit the subscribe button? I make 4-5 to five dedicated videos to Raid Shadow Legends weekly and if I have something important to tell or if I make updates to any of the tooling, I will also let you know. With that, I will see you in the next one. And until then, peace out.